Our changing climate is playing a role in this wild weather Colorado's seen over the last few decades. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon is live along Cherry Creek. Colette, you've talked to experts about the smaller changes we may not think about, but we are starting to notice. Guys, I think the general concept of climate change and what's causing it is common knowledge at this point, but our heads instantly, they go to natural disasters. Today, I learned why we should also be thinking about infectious diseases, and it has to do with some of this growth you can see here along the creek. Climate change impacts Colorado um, in a variety of ways. Andy Hoyle is the person to ask how. I don't know, what hat am I wearing today? I'm a research meteorologist at the NOAA Physical Sciences Laboratory. He studies extreme events. Like droughts and floods heat waves and how climate change makes them more likely to happen and last longer. When it comes to temperatures, temperatures are increasing day to day, week to week, month to month and year to year. What we tend to see in a warmer climate is more extreme precipitation. That doesn't mean we can attribute all the rain from June to climate change. We need to do more research to be able to diagnose that. He looks at the big picture. Wildfires have increased greatly in the western United States and the entire United States as a whole in the last 20 years compared to the 20 years before that. While others look at the smallest parts in the same climate change picture. What does that do then to like like animals and insects and all these other things that transmit infections. Dr. Michelle Barron is an expert on infectious diseases. Like all these diseases that we never saw and we only associate it with, you know, like I said, travel are here and will soon become just kind of part of our lives. She says that's because things like ticks and mosquitoes thrive with more moisture, which makes her think of Lyme disease, West Nile, or even worse. We have malaria, mosquitoes that carry malaria that are in Florida right now. That is pretty big deal. The fact that that happened means we're already on that trajectory. A trajectory that's all about where certain creatures are migrating because of the changing climate. A lot of the, what we call geographic restrictions for infections no longer applies as much as it did before. And we'll probably at some point just say, well, it doesn't matter. That future is something she says does matter since it impacts everyone. Dr. Barron from UC Health also says rodents are some of the creatures that are starting to migrate. They're normally in the southwest. They're moving further north. An example of that, she says, is a recent case of hantavirus that was found in Wyoming. Normally, that's in the Four Corners region. And our very own chief meteorologist, Mike Nelson, he is an expert on the topic. Mike, I'm sure this is something that's been on your radar, but for me personally, I didn't realize the impact climate change could have on infectious diseases. Colette, it's a threat multiplier for every single thing that we're worried about worldwide, whether that be the uh, economy, security, uh, diseases, everything. So let me just talk a little bit about it. Everything that we see is threat multiplied by it. Hurricanes, tropical storms, fires, etc. Without significant cuts in carbon, Denver's climate, even though it's been cool this year, will be more like Amarillo, Texas by the time my grandchildren are about my age and by the end of the century more like northern Mexico. Uh, this is not political, this is just physics that when you add heat, it gets warmer. We can change this uh, trajectory by significant cuts in carbon emissions from the burning of fossil fuels. And this is a book that you can download free. Here's the QR code. I'm gonna leave this up here for a second. This is my book on climate change. 10 facts in 10 minutes will explain to you the science behind it and some of the solutions. So just grab that for a QR code for a free download of the world's littlest book on climate and do share that with uh, people that you know.